What's up, man? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Holy crap, we made it. I know, man. It's hot, too. It's hot. Welcome to the safety brief. It's hot. This just in. I don't know where you're at, and where you're watching in the part of the nation, part of the world. If you're deployed, happy Red Friday. Let's go. But here in San Antonio, it's kind of hot. Yeah. Like, I'm not sure if you follow the ads report when we, when we wrapped up the show uh, with Dan on Wednesday in full grunnel, but... Yep. One ball stuck to the left. <laughs> yeah, that's one of those days today, man. I walked outside and I was like, woo, woo. early too, oh, wow. early too. What's up, guys? Uh, I'm JD. This is Angel. And uh, we're here to give you some safety tips as we go into the weekend. You know, uh, Father's Day is coming up. Uh, I know if you're like me, I'm not going to be on social media next weekend. So essentially, we're trying to give you your Father's Day safety tips now. Yeah. So that you don't have to put up with our shit next week. <laughs> Might as well. Man. Might as well be, right? So we're going to be talking a couple of range things, some fishing, grilling, stuff that dads like to do. Nice Angel, are, are, are you a dad? Uh, no, I'm not a dad. Not that you know not of? Not that I know of. All right. One day, dude. You know what go, I'm saying? You ever go back to Europe, man? <laughs> yeah. Back to Japan. <laughs> back to Japan. But, you know, happy Friday, everybody. You know, I, as we started the show, it's, it's red. So if you're deployed, watching overseas, on watch, if you're hiding from your boss, Cheers to you. Thanks for joining us. And um, yeah, so we want to, we're busy. Like, holy shit, are we busy? You know, a lot and of stuff going on. If, if you're following Grand Style social media, like in the last week, week and a half, we, we've been coast to coast. You know, we have, uh, we're just coming off of Patriotic Fest up in Norfolk, Virginia. Um, 15, 20,000 fans a day screaming, wow. doing the four toast salute. Um, just patriotism at the highest level. Talk about an experience like just watching, you know, just looking at the videos and stuff on social media and stuff like that from y'all being there. Wow. They look like our event. It was. I could. I Yeah. I don't even know what to say. I'm speechless. <laughs> yeah. So it was a uh, <laughs> shout out to Brandon. So Brandon went on stage for the first time. And uh, how do you give the four toast salute to 20,000 people? Oh, my God. Yeah. Nerve wracking. But he did great. We're proud of you, buddy. Um, yeah, so we were in Norfolk Patriotic Fest. We got, if you're in Norfolk this weekend, we have our grand opening. We're opening the store in Norfolk, Virginia. So come on down to the grand opening uh, where we can, uh, oh, there's lots of partner experiences. We got any sales going on right now? We have, so they're going to be doing a gift with purchase. Um, there you spend over uh, $100 and you, you get a free hat. Um, and then I think the first, uh, first 100 customers get some free swag. As that's well. what it is. Yeah. First, first 100, 100 customers. customers. That's first what it is. Customers. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah, if, you, if you're looking for the address, check out the yeah. comments. Um, yeah. So patriotic fest, the grand opening. Yeah. And then last week we had the honor of wrapping up our Memorial Day campaign. Right. Yep. So our, uh, this, past Memorial Day, you know, this is a yearly tradition for us where we shut down the site, we read the, read the names of our brothers and our sisters, but also, it's also a time for us to give back. Mm -hmm. So partnering with the Children of Fallen Patriots, you know, during the month of May, you guys, our viewers, allowed us to give us, to give the Children of Fallen Patriots a $51,000 donation wow. during the month of May. That is all proceeds that were collected from the Never Forgotten shirt. And given to the children of Palm Patriots. Grunt Style did nothing. I mean, sure, the team did a great job in making it available, but it was, ultimately it was you guys who who really stepped up and, and helped during the time where giving back is kind of hard. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So so thank you. But thank I, you. I, we want to say thank you, and we'll say it again and again and again for allowing us to do these types of things in our communities. We're able to give back. And the children of Fallen Patriots is very special to us because um, we know what it's like to, to lose a fallen service member, you know, Angel, you're a Marine Corps veteran, myself, an Army veteran. And whenever we lose a brother or sister, we always think about their families and their children and what the future looks like. So um, Children of Fallen Patriots, they step in and provide college for um, these students. They, you know, mentoring all at zero cost just so they can work on their future. And uh, we're honored to be proud of it, to, to be a part of it, you know? Yeah. Um, and then, man, Monday. This past Monday or Tuesday, I'm sorry, we had the opportunity to visit uh, Academy. So we we are partnering with Academy for the Children of Fallen Patriots, uh, but other we're looking for other areas to do more for our community. So we had we were invited to meet uh, Deputy Hudson. So shout out to you, Deputy Hudson. Um, he is a police officer um, currently battling terminal cancer, but we think he's going to pull through. You know, you're uh, 
after meeting the entire department, the department, the whole department was there at Academy. Um, and we'll be putting more on social media to kind of highlight Deputy Hudson there. But, you know, he's been in service forever, um, knows nothing but serving. And as veterans, we support those who serve. Grunt Style is very uh, committed to supporting those who, to those who serve. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward to that going out and just looking for more opportunities to be there for our brothers and sisters just to say thanks. Yeah, absolutely. Say thank you. Yeah. So um, if, you, if you're watching our stuff, you know, please share, get it out. Visit our social medias. And uh, yeah, let's get into some Father's Day stuff. Let's do it. Yeah. So um, I want to talk to you about going to the range. You know, so yeah, let's Father's, talk about that. Yeah. Father's Day, a lot of people like to go pew pew. <laughs> Some people are scared of it. Yeah. That's okay. Totally fine. It is your choice. But, you know, you, you like to go shooting, right? Oh, yeah, man. I got two shooting ranges less than two miles away from my house. And I love it. Yeah. So um, going into Father's Day, I want to talk about some tips for the idiots out there who are probably going to do it anyways. <laughs> uh, you know, what are some tips that they can do going to the weekend to not? Yeah. To not. <laughs> so, yeah. So if you have any, like, we'll start with the range. So if you have any plans going to the range, stuff like that, um, you know, it's your first time and you don't really know. Maybe it's something exciting you want to do. Um, there's a couple things that us military guys kind of know. It's it's a. Uh, it's the four weapon safety rules, right? That's probably the <laughs> most important thing you should know before going to the range. Either read them before you get there or, or read them while you're there. Should um, have them posted. Have them, yeah, they should have them posted have everywhere. Them posted. Um, but, you know, uh, the way I remember it is uh, is treat, never keep, keep. Mm -hmm. It's something that they, they kind of carved in my brain uh, when I was in the military. So uh, treat every weapon as if it were loaded, right? That's your That's your first weapon safety rule. Uh, second one, never point your weapon at anything you do not intend to shoot. So if you're shooting, right, and all of a sudden your buddy's, uh, I don't know, tells you a funny joke or tells you how much you suck and you need to aim better, don't turn around and point it at everybody <laughs> behind you or around you. Don't be that guy or girl. It's not <laughs> <Yeah>. funny. <laughs> it's not funny. It's a quick way to get your ass kicked oh, and yeah. kicked off the range. Like, don't worry about it. Safety is important. But yes, treat every weapon as a soldier. That's one. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then keep your finger straight off the trigger until you intend to fire. Uh, yeah, that's that's the third one. Fourth one, keep your weapon on safe until you intend to fire. You don't want to be, uh, you know, not ready for it, maybe pointing down at your feet or at the table in front of you, and then, you know, round goes off and you get scared, you drop the weapon. Round goes off again. Round goes off again. And then you get kicked out and then it's not a fun day. So. Or worst case scenario, you hit somebody and end their life because you were being dumb. Yeah. Treat. Never. Keep. Keep. Boom. I think that third one, keep your keep your finger straight and off the trigger until you're ready to fire. I can't tell you how many times I've seen social media. Just people. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they're pointing at the, at the video and they're just like. Yeah, oh, like, yeah. were you fans of John Moran and the Grizzlies? Or, <laughs> like, get out of here. <laughs> right. So yeah, if you're gonna, the reason we bring this up is if your dad's a shooter, he should be following these rules. If he's going to be drinking, which he probably might, these rules are still important. You know, <laughs> yeah. maybe put them, plaster them, making them in part of the experience. Do something. But what we're getting at here is just be safe. Yeah, really be safe. You follow those four, you're you're golden, dude. You should be gold. And yeah, don't shoot at people. Shoot at like targets. I'm sure you know berms, shit reflects. Don't shoot off a concrete wall. <laughs> Or do it's called natural selection, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, another thing we were talking about, you know, with about dads, it was an in interesting conversation of the, up in the brand room because you know we can be pretty. The yeah. brand's pretty, you know. Uh, <laughs> don't drink and shoot, Chet Rampart. Thank you, Chet Rampart. Don't drink and shoot. Um, there you go. But I, I want to talk about you know dads grilling versus char charcoal versus propane. Where do you fall? And if you if you're watching in the mm. comments, where do you fall? Are you a propane guy or you're charcoal? I grew up on charcoal, um, and then I kind of made a little switch uh, to to propane, and then I hated it. And then hated I hated it. Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. I just I don't know. It didn't feel like like my dad's cooking, you know. Oh, it didn't taste burnt. It didn't taste burnt like carne asada, or <laughs> you know. <laughs> well, I mean, there's there's pros and cons to charcoal and propane. Like, yeah. like I actually wrote this out if, if you can entertain me here. So on the propane side, tips and safe, and it burns clean. It's predictable, right? True. Slow burn. I can watch the kids have a drink. Um, cons, it's price. It's pricey up front. Yeah, 
Um, and, and it normally comes with a rental fee. So you can be halfway through grilling and hosting and then <laughs> get around to the store to refill. Like, yeah, that's boom, happened immediately. Dude. It buzz kill, sucks. right? That's one way to get left <laughs> off the, the grill. Yeah. And then on the charcoal side, you know, pros, it infuses a lot of flavor into the food. Yeah. Sure. Um, gets, it's hotter than gas, lower cost, and usually smaller. But uh, it's messier. Fucking get dirty. Yeah, which is, true. Which is, you know, it happens. Um, higher risk of fire for those who don't know how to manage the charcoal. <laughs> yeah. Especially here in Texas, if you have your grill on your lawn or like in your backyard, uh, you don't have concrete in that area, your grass is just going to freaking catch on fire or something. Yeah. <laughs> Only a matter of time or you're not going to have grass after your second cookout. <laughs> or that. Right? Um, and it takes longer to heat up. Yeah. Pro propane's pretty good. You know, I'm actually pretty excited. So mm -hmm. I got a, uh, my first Father's Day gift this weekend and Ooh. I got a griddle. Like, oh, nice. Yeah, like the big Blackstone ones. Those so, are cool. Right? Like, what I'm looking forward to is my kids are old enough to go to the hibachi, right? So, we'll okay. go to hibachi. <laughs> Cling, 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 all this fire. I could do that shit at home. Yeah, you're like, listen, kids, I got this. <laughs> right? I'm gonna pull up, all pull a it. chair up next to me. <laughs> you're sitting there. If anything, I have we have French windows in the backyard. I'm gonna have them watch from the window. Oh, there you go. <laughs> at least for the first time, so I don't burn the house. And then it turns into a safety brief episode. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think for now, I guess I'm a propane guy. Don't kill me. Shout out to Hank Hill this weekend. Yeah. But so, um, I I have a pellet grill. What is that? Or yeah, so uh, you put the pellets. Oh yeah, yeah. pellets on the side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it goes. The smoke That's what it. I use. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, but I usually turn the temperature all the way up, so you don't really get much of that smoky flavor. But um, I like it. I don't know. I don't have time for charcoal. I have. I, I could care less for the measuring contest as well. Oh, charcoal. <laughs> yeah. you, oh, but propane. Man, I just want my shit hot. I want it cooked. <laughs> I don't want it raw. Uh, Talk about charcoal. <laughs> oh, okay. Don't be nasty. <laughs> Don't be nasty. Don't be nasty. Uh, yeah. So again, there's if you look for things to take your dad to this weekend, you can go shooting. You can be safe. You can go grilling. You know, maybe burn the house down. Please don't. Uh, are you are you into fishing? I love fishing. Yeah. I don't fish. I don't fish a lot, um, but I fish a little bit. You know, here and there. Yeah, you're from Wisconsin. Right? Wisconsin. Yeah, is there a lot of fishing back in Wisconsin? Oh yeah, a lot of fishing, a lot of hunting, a lot of. Uh, uh, a lot of football and a lot of beer. Damn, it sounds like you just described Texas. Yeah, yeah, football. Yeah. That's why I'm here. Hey, yeah. it's like, <laughs> it works out. It works out. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, when you go fish, what's important? You know, for safety. Well, there's the general stuff, man. You got, you know, put on your sunscreen. That's, I mean, if, if you don't want to, you know, going to work on Monday looking like a uh, lobster, you know, a lobster <laughs> put on your sunscreen. Um, you know, wear your hat. You know, wear shoes that you have good grip uh especially if you're you know on rocks or in a boat speaking of boats don't jackknife your boat you what does it mean to jackknife your boat i'm, I'm no fisherman man. Okay. i'm from the city i'll, I'll hunt i do all that stuff okay. boating yeah so when you're backing in your your boat uh in, in the boat launch area uh make sure i don't know if you don't know how to back in your boat man you should probably just find somebody you should own a boat if you don't know how to fucking back it up <laughs> <laughs> dude you'd be surprised how many people jackknife their boats out there i would love to just show up to a lake and just watch the docking of these jackknives. <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to go doing that. i've seen a meme boat. of somebody with with a cooler uh and it had a little uh post or a little sign on there that said we'll back uh we'll back in your your boat for beer and the dude had like cases of beer around them because people had already just been like all right here you go dude here's two bro gas it up <laughs> let me know when it's ready <laughs> i would do that um you need licenses when you go fishing yes so yeah th there's like do you like is it like a well depending where you go i would recommend getting your license uh, especially if you're a veteran depending where you live i know here in texas you get a free it's free yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just show your DD-214 or whatever, and mm -hmm. they give you the whole package, you know? Um, you can go to Academy. You can get your fishing license. Walmart. Walmart. Well, the reason I bring up Academy is a you know, promo plug. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you bad. can support the children of fallen patriots. <laughs> and that, yeah. You can support those who serve. Uh, but yeah, uh, you, you can, yeah, get your license. I know we went uh, helicopter hog hunting back in like February. Oh, yeah. And the biggest thing of the safety was make sure you have your license. Yeah. Like, what? We're no. going to be fine. Like, well, those those uh, uh when you get a ticket for not having it man it can be pretty yeah it's not worth it no no it ain't worth it <clears throat> um what about casting that yeah important? definitely uh be aware of your surroundings i mean that goes with uh you know both fishing and shooting mm -hmm. um 
you don't want to get your wife or your your new girlfriend you know you're out there fishing and you don't want to get them with the hook trying to show off yeah like trying to show off <laughs> <laughs> so jackknifing real quick back yeah, to jackknifing. Yeah, yeah. what does that look like so all right so let me see so you, this is your <laughs> truck right this is your truck this is your boat you're you're backing it in you know down the ramp into mm -hmm. the back water up, up. and then if if for some reason your your tires are a little you know to the left or to the right you might kind of you know go off track and then all of a sudden your boat will just jackknife this way and then uh and then that can lead into yeah. your boat you know sideways or um just damage man yeah it's not you don't Jack, want to do that. If you jackknife this week and send it to us, <laughs> we yes. need photo proof of this. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> send it in the comments. We'll send you some merch. <laughs> or, if, or if you're out there and you see somebody jackknife it, just be like, oh, look at this guy. Uh huh. Uh, Larry left a comment there. Keep your booger hook off of the bank switch. That is sage advice. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> so we got fishing, we got grilling, we got, you know, going to the range. Um, one thing I always talk about going into the weekends, especially. Is mental health right yeah so you know shout out to anyone in the military but specifically those single parents mom dad the single ones holding it down for themselves um i know like during father's day during mother's day a lot of those you know a lot of individuals can really feel the weight you know of that so reach out you know talk to somebody let someone know that you're not feeling okay and especially and i bring this up for men specifically because a lot of them think that they're not supposed to feel or when you're in the military shut up drive harder mm -hmm. nobody cares work harder stop like it's okay to take a knee it's okay to take a pause for the calls recalibrate and jump back out there honestly so um my biggest safety tip i can give you this weekend is set your ego aside yeah you know set i your agree ego man aside. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, in your experience, how do people, you know, get away from it? Like, I know this weekend we, do, we always talk about don't drink, don't drive and all that, but that's yeah, actually yeah. the advice people do. They mask it. Hang out. I don't know. Hang out family, kids, um, you know, go out, do something adventurous. Get your mind off of whatever's going on, man. If, if you're, you know, especially for Father's Day, you know, leave work at work. You know, it's time to be present with your kids and stuff like that. Yeah. So put the phones down, put the phones down. Just enjoy it, man. Be present in the moment. That's one of the biggest things, you know, uh, and I can go down a rabbit hole with that. But um, yeah, just definitely uh, you can do that. Hang out with your with your friends. Um, you know, if you have a group of friends in your area, you want to hang out with it. Maybe, you know, everybody's married and nobody really has the time. <laughs> hey, just take a day. Right. Tell the ladies, hey. You know, Saturday or Tuesday, you know, we're, I'm going out. Yeah, something. But more, I guess more importantly, what I want to get to is yeah. do something for yourself. Yeah. You know, why I always tell people to work on like three different areas. Do something for your body, do something for your soul, and do something for your spirit. Move yourself, get involved with something bigger than yourself, and have a connection to something bigger than you. You start there, you know. Yeah. And then go out and be an asshole to everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> so real quick guys we'll, we'll, let's let's go ahead and uh, summarize all this up you know if you're gonna go shooting for safety brief tip one what are the fours yeah treat never keep keep treat never keep keep remember that if you're going grilling propane charcoal don't pellets. burn don't, don't pellets don't burn the food <laughs> yeah. don't smoke for 12 hours and tell someone about it nobody cares <laughs> and my best friend rob if you're watching this please don't i can care less about your brisket i'm sorry oh, oh, rob, dude. Rob. <laughs> <laughs> love you guy um and then fishing don't jackknife your boat exactly and if you do post pictures yes <laughs> but you know go out have a plan this weekend you know be involved don't isolate ask questions get involved and then like, like there's so many communities out there guys oh like, yeah there are so many damn communities and like, and like you said get involved take get all the phones away yes get off social media or play with ai either two or that <laughs> either one but <clears throat> um that's that's really gonna do it for us guys we're we we got father's day coming up now and we're all gonna be all over the place um just be nice be nice people so exactly so with that we're going to transition into our four toe salute and get out of here cool and beat traffic yeah so <laughs> so those who served cheers to those who supported us while we while we serve cheers To those young bucks still carrying the torch of freedom, cheers. And last but certainly not least, for those who never came home, we love you. 
and we miss you. Happy Red Friday, everybody. Be safe this weekend. Thank you. Red. That's R-E-D. As in, remember, everyone deployed. Simple enough on the surface, but what do the words mean? It means that even today, right now, someone somewhere is going to miss a birthday. A loved one's passing, the birth of their first son. Someone's brother, a son, daughter, sister, mother, or father. Someone is far away, even today, and we must never, ever forget them. Remember everyone.